the first basic components and their physical quantities. The first item to review is the concept of current. There are two major types of current. First, direct current and alternating current. The unit of measure for both is in amperes and the symbol is a capital A or lowercase a and p. As you can observe right in front of you, we have the DC current, direct current is what it's called. As you can see, the direct current moves in only one direction, which is from the negative pole to the positive pole. Next is the alternating current. Alternating current, abbreviated AC, reverses the direction of the current flow periodically. Your house AC has a periodic frequency, periodical frequency of 60 hertz. Hertz is the unit of measure for the frequency and it's HZ as an abbreviation. We have conductors, a material that allows electrical current to flow with the relative ease. An example is copper, gold, and silver. We then have an insulator, a material that does not allow electrical current under normal conditions such as rubber, glass, and mica. Voltage is the next item to consider. Just as current can be DC or AC quantities, voltage is the same. The symbols for alternating voltage, AV, and direct voltage, DV, are used to represent these physical quantities, as you can see in the graph below. Voltage is also known as the electromotive force, EMF, which causes the potential for flow of electrical current. This physical property can also be thought of as pressure. Consider a garden hose connected to the faucet of your house. With the faucet opening, pressure is applied to the hose and the water begins to flow through the hose. The amount of water can be related to the current and the pressure at the faucet is related to the EMF. The resistance to the flow is referred to as your resistance. Our next subject is Ohm's Law, named after the German physicist Georg Simon Ohm's, and goes as follows. Ohm's Law states that the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it, with resistance being the constant of proportionality. This fundamental fundamental principle is crucial for understanding and calculating the behavioral characteristics of an electronic circuit and is a cornerstone in the field of electrical engineering. The scientific definition of one ohm is the amount of electrical resistance that exists in an electrical circuit when one amp of current is flowing with one volt being applied to the circuit. Resistance is the property of a material to oppose the flow of electronic current. This property is referred to as resistivity with the symbol rho and is an intrinsic property of the material. And again, rubber, uh, paper, glass, mica are all insulators, are resistance to flow. Now we'll do our equation. Equation one states, voltage is equal to the resistance times the current. Equation two states that current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. And the third equation in the Ohm's law states that resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. As you can see, each equation has a circuit associated with it. Let's use QUCS to see if the results are the same. Okay, let's now make our circuit using QUCS. Open QCS. We're going to make a new project. A new project. Call it Ohm's Law.
Okay, here's our project. Go over into the schematic capture, document settings. We want our grid to be on five. Apply. We want to get a frame. I like the A5 frame. I'm going to title it Ohm's Law. Drawn by Lab Rats. You put your steer name in there. Today's date. Division one. Hit apply. So equation one is voltage equals resistance times current. In the equation we have, we don't know what the uh, voltage is, but we know what the current is and the amperage. So we go to components. We need a resistor. Put it right there. I want to rotate it. We need voltage supply source. We need probes. Both current and voltage and escape. All right, click that button to de deactivate the current meter population. Same with the voltage probe. We need a ground unit lump component to do the simulation. They all have to have a ground component. <laughs> And then we need to select the DC simulator. Bring that down to there. <coughs> Excuse me. We need to wire wrap. Remember to get rid of the red dot. Like right there, I did not get rid of the red dot, so I'm going to click that. Hit escape. Disaster. I'm going to let you see this one time to show you how hard it really is. But otherwise, I would actually probably just re video this. again and get the wire wrap tool very good Let's go down left click left click and as you can see the red dot goes away you know you have connection I'll straighten out the location of the current probe a minute Go to ground, complete the circuit. There you go. Now we want to connect the voltage probe. That's good. There you go. There's our circuit. We want to save this. Save as. Ohm's law. All right. So, oh, we got to get out of that. Hit escape or come up here and hit the pointer. Okay, we don't know what the voltage is. But we're going to say we know the current is 2 amps. And the resistance is 5. So from equation 1, R times I would be 5 times 2 would be 10 volts. So we will... I'm still trying to do that. We want to edit the properties here. 
put 10 volts into there and apply we know we want a 5 ohm resistor and apply say okay now the proof will come because we're gonna uh, and you can just see it 10 divided by 5 which is a uh, one of the uh, uh, we know the current we know the resistance we also know the resistance and the voltage now because of that we know that the voltage divided by the resistors will give us the current which is equation two so we could actually improve all three of our equations right here just by this one circuit now we know from equation three the resistance equals the voltage divided by the current so we know the voltage is 10 volts we know the current is two amps dividing that leaves us five ohms and so without even really doing any calculating with just this circuit we have proven the three laws of ohms law but this run the simulation anyway so we go up here and we hit simulate no errors from this page go back over to here this uh we need a, t a table to see our results bring the table over name it ohm's law okay where to go i don't know say graphic input all right hang on that there put that there put that there okay we put p1 probe one which is the current probe p2 which is a voltage probe and then this is the current going back into the simulator and we hit apply i didn't hit apply that's why it went away so apply there's our results so we got the this is measuring two amps and um, the voltage drop across here is 10 volts so 5 into 10 is 2 and then the current going back into here is 2 amps so that's it that shows you equation 1 voltage equals resistance times the current Equation 2, I equals voltage divided by R. Again, proved by the circuit. And equation 3, the resistance equals voltage over I. That was it. That was fun. Uh, the math is equivalent to the simulated data. So we won't, we won't do any more. This is just a basic law. We will use it from here on out. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank you.